When you're identifying transformations from a graph, oftentimes they tell you that you're moving one function to another and they will use different colors to kind of signify the different functions. So in one of the questions that you're going to see on the content assessment in this focus area is that you're just simply identifying the type of transformation that's shown moving one graph to another. So let's take a look at example one. Remember, we've got translation, reflection, and dilation are just the three main basic transformations that we're going to be focusing on here. If I look at these two graphs, the black ones where I start, the red ones where I end up, it looks like all I'm doing is shifting or sliding the vertex here down and to the right. So if that's the only thing that I've done, then I would say the transformation here is a translation. And that's it, just a translation. In this one, I see that I do still have some shifting or sliding right and down, but the V is not pointing up anymore. It's pointing downward. So when we see that flip, that vertical flip from opening up to opening down, we would say that this is a reflection as well. So I've got a translation and reflection. Both of those two things. This one, see a translation, see a reflection it's opening downward but then I also see something else this is stretched or it's compressed depends on which perspective you look at it I could say it looks like it's stretched vertically meaning it's skinnier somehow or I could say it's compressed horizontally both would make the graph narrower now how I could kind of double check on this is I could look at my rise and run or slope on one side of this V and it looks like I go up one right one each time from nice point to nice point now this one it looks like I've got vertex here and it doesn't go through another corner until right there that's going down three right one the reflection is what makes it go down instead of up, but my vertical component is instead of one, it's three. I still go to the right one, but it's down three instead of one. So that confirms that this also has a dilation. Now later, we're going to get more specific on describing, being more explicit, translation where, reflection across what, dilation by how much, vertical, horizontal, is it a stretch, compression, and by how much. We'll do that later, but right now we're just identifying the different transformations. So here's some more examples. Same thing, although this time we're going from purple to red. So I see a translation because I've moved position. And it looks like both up, it, it translated down and right. But I'm just going to say translation here. And then I have not reflected it because it didn't flip. Now I could, I guess, technically say that before I move it, I could reflect it across the y-axis. But if you have that kind of situation, especially here, and then in the other example that I showed in a previous video, is if you have a reflection and you just have the exact same graph after you do it, um, there's really no point to mention that reflection. It's not actually changing the function at all. It's just taking it onto itself. So won't do a reflection here, but it does look like we have a dilation because, again, if I look, here's my vertex, and then the next nice point looks to be right here. 
on my original graph. I go up one, right one. But if I look at this, here's my vertex. Here's the next nice point. Looks like now I go up two, right one. So the vertical component of what's happening on my graph has changed. So translation, and I've now just confirmed there's also a dilation going on here. This one looks a little strange because A, it's a different shape than what we've seen so far. But it might be a little bit harder to follow than what the other one was. Regardless, I see that there's a translation. It's moved from purple to red, it's moved down. So I know that for sure. And then it looks like there's some kind of reflection because, let's see, I might be able to do something here, make it a little bit easier. If I take a little snip of that part of the graph, okay, and then I'm going to try and It's pretty close. That's close enough. Okay, so I've just taken this snip of this graph, and so if I translate that down, I know you can't see behind it, but it's it's clear that just translating it down is not enough. So there's something else. So I could either flip this, maybe let's try across the y-axis. So we're going to flip it left, right. Okay, now I'm gonna, I need to slide it back over, so now look at that. Now the purple lines up with the red. That's a smooth connection there. So let me go back. So I had it there. And then when I flipped it to the right, because of how I snipped it, I had to scooch it over a little bit. So I flipped it over and then scooched it, and now it lines up. That was a reflection across the y-axis, because I flipped it left, right. So then we would say reflection. Now, when you're taking your content assessment, of course, you don't have this little tool that I just used. So you're going to have to visualize what's going on. So here's one way that you can look at it. So I move it down, and my point's here. My next nice point is here. So if I move that also down 6, that takes me here. If I reflect over the y-axis, boop, boop, that takes me from the right side of the y-axis to the left, and look at that, that lines up perfectly with that red graph. Another way you could look at it, and this is getting into something we're going to talk about in the next video, is that trans the order of transformations matter. So what if I did this? So here's my two points. If I reflected over the x-axis, that takes this point here, and then move it down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, voila, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be another way that I could explain it. But regardless, it's still a reflection. Whether it's a reflection over the x-axis or the y, I could use both. But we know it's there. Okay, last example on this video. So here, again, purple to red. So obviously I've got a translation. I've got a reflection because it's opening down. And then it looks like I've got a dilation. Again, to confirm, I look at, okay, so from vertex up one, right one. I know it's opening down, but it looks like the next nice point is right here. So that's down three, right one. So that's a vertical stretch, which is a type of dilation. Okay, so hopefully this all makes sense. You're just identifying the type of transformation that's shown in the graph. Now the questions that you see in the content assessment, they might be more specific like reflection across the x-axis or reflection across the y-axis.
translation left, translation right, up, down. But hopefully just by talking through how you identify what transformations were done, that should hopefully get you what you need to be able to answer those questions.